this is a prototype project I'll be working on later. As you can see, there are many missing buttons such as division, subtraction, and such. Uh, from the underside, we can see the intimidating wiring, which is actually very really simple. On the right, we can see there are two wires, the orange and black, which is 5 volts and ground. The 5 volts and ground are divided by four different resistors over here. With the voltage divided, we can read different analog input values when different buttons are pressed. And I used four different analog inputs to simplify things. And the voltage is divided into three parts. And four times three equals 12. And here, I use 12 buttons. And now let's talk about the OLED. It's a I2C protocol OLED, 128 by 32. And they are connected to the Arduino Nanos pin. A4 and A5, which is the built-in nanos, SEO and SDA. Another thing worth mentioning are the analog inputs are pulled down to zero volts through these resistors. A floating analog input can be problematic because the values can, well, go anywhere without an input. Anyways, let's take a look at the code. Before we start, I'm a beginner at coding, so it must be a simpler and more efficient way of writing this. We include wire.h here, a library for I2C. Also, libraries for the specific OLED. And we start naming some variables. A0, A1, these are for the raw and lock inputs. The input variable is for the corrected input. I used byte to say space as inputs will only range from 0 to 9. Num, num1, these are for the math operations. The output is the answer seen on the OLED. In the setup section, we initialize the OLED display and display the welcome message. In the loop section, the main purpose of these while loops is to determine whether a number or an operation key is pressed. If a number key is pressed, we determine the specific key through analog readings. Each analog reading has four states, zero meaning no button pressed, and three other voltage readings. Each reading, I assign the number from zero to nine. This section of code will both display and set a variable to what was keyed in. For example, if you input two, four, through this function over here, two will be times by 10 plus four equaling 24. This will run only once when any number button is released through the statement in the second while loop. The next stage, when we exit both while loops, we begin the addition function. The output variable will add the previous number you entered and store it that way. Then, output is displayed on the OLED. Again, this will only run once when the plus button is pressed to stop the system from getting itself out of control. Finally, section. When the C, which means clear, button is pressed, variable will be set to zero, and the process starts again. Anyways, I hope you all like this. I think I will be making a custom calculator with cherry switches in the near future, so I guess I'll see you next time.